welcome to today's installment of the SHOT Show new product premiere, where the shooting, hunting, and outdoor industry is all in for 2022. Straight from the expansive, multi-level Venetian Expo and Caesars Forum, we're here to give you an inside look at the latest developments in shooting, hunting, and outdoor gear. Get a unique, hands-on look into the latest advancements in cutting-edge equipment as our team of industry pros gets up close and personal with the latest gear sure to improve your next outdoor adventure. I'm Joe Kurtenbach with Guns and Ammo, and I'm joined by Chris Johnson from FN. And Chris, you guys are making a splash here at SHOT Show 2022. You guys have brought back the high power. Indeed we have. So uh, we're excited to introduce the new FN High Power, new for 2022. Uh, it's a reimagined, uh, you know, reimagined high power. We uh, took a lot of energy and effort to make sure that we were including the core elements that make a high power a high power, but updating it for today's shooter standards. Yeah, it's absolutely, it's important to mention right off the bat, these are not, the compatibility is not there with legacy models of the high power. Uh, you know, you're going to have uh, different magazines and tons of different features, which we'll get into. But it's just, it's worth noting though that this isn't just bringing back the same old high power. You guys have really developed a new platform, a new platform inspired by and paying homage to the original high powers. Yep, absolutely. This is not a replica at all. If we, frankly, if we want to do a replica, we could have done it five years ago. Yeah. Uh, we actually, we commissioned a pretty lengthy historical uh, design study to make sure that we kind of identified, you know, what is it that really makes a high power a high power? And then say, all right, how do we take those, kind of honor and respect, you know, what is it that makes a high power a high power, but then update it respectfully. Well, let's start there then. What does make a high power a high power? And FN, of all companies, should know. Yep. Yep, certainly. So, like, one of the things is obviously, if you just look at the overall shape and design of it, it certainly has like that John Browning influence, just yeah. geometrically, like kind of the way it looks. Mm -hmm. uh, the the slide arm on the back side of the gun here it has the long slide arm, uh, slide release arm. So that's a, a key characteristic, the keyhole muzzle that you see up front here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the shape of the grip, the hammer. These are all kind of things that we uh, identified in that design study to say we have to include these uh, in the high power design. So building on top of that original high power design, how have you guys made the new high powers different and maybe more appropriate for today's shooter? Yeah, sure thing. So one of the things we've done is we've spent a lot of time on ergonomics. Uh, we spent a ton of time contouring the grip, making it where it really just kind of pulls your hand in and yeah. kind of improves the control and confidence of the shooter. Uh, another thing we did too is capacity for today's shooters are also something we wanted to take into consideration. The original high power was a 13 round magazine, which in the 1920s and 30s when it was developed, revolutionary at the time. This features a 17 round magazine. Yeah, so. that is definitely a lot more capacity and much more on par uh, <laughs> with what you would expect from a service sized pistol today. Yes, sir. Let's talk for a second about the grips because these are nice and slim, you know, I feel like the original high power sometimes felt a little bit wide bodied. Sure. Um, you know, despite having a 13 round magazine, uh, the, this feels like a slimmer gun to me in the hand. Well, it's uh, dimensionally it's similar, uh, but yes, we put uh, we put pretty thin grips on here. You know, again, spent a ton of time working on the contouring of the grip. We wanted to make sure that, you know, ergonomically, if you're an experienced shooter or an, you know an intro shooter, that you felt confident shooting, you know, this metal frame gun. Uh, we do have different grip options, so each gun comes with obviously a set of grips on the gun, but then there's a different color set of grips that come in the box, so you can customize it right out the box. And yeah. if those don't work for you, we've got G10 grips and about five different colors and then oak, grip, oak grips and walnut grips as well. So definitely you guys are starting right off the bat allowing people to personalize uh, their high power. And there's other features in here too. You know, you look at the sights, these look familiar coming from the 509 family. Yep, absolutely. So uh, yeah, the sights are actually, you know, they're designed for the high power. But one of the interesting things is, is that we use the dovetail uh, cut that's on the 509 family. So if these aren't your thing, or you'd prefer, you know, something three dot night sights, fiber optics, there's an aftermarket already built for it. And that's not, not something you can say about the original high power in terms of the sights. That was typically a gunsmithing job yep. if you wanted to change them out. Yep. Absolutely, absolutely. So looking at the we know one of the first questions people are going to ask, and I touched on it, that magazine release. <laughs> here or not here? Yeah, so there is no magazine uh, magazine disconnect uh, in here. So uh, that's one of the things in the older high power. It gave it kind of a, a mushy, heavy trigger. Uh, this breaks at about four and a half pounds. It's a smooth single action, uh, good reset and everything. Yeah. So if you're familiar with shooting older high powers, it's, it's going to feel a lot different. 
And I will say too, the controls are pretty ambidextrous. We got the safety on both sides as well as the slide stop and release. But if I'm not mistaken, the uh, takedown lever looks a little different to me. Uh, well, there's a takedown lever now. So yeah, a good catch. So one of the things that we've done too to update this for the modern standards is, you know, the older high power, it would, you know, you would have to basically drop the magazine, lock the slide back, and then push a pin through right. that was attached to the slide lever to basically pull it apart. And then when you had to put it back together, it was kind of cumbersome to make sure everything was lined up just right. Um, so what we've done here is drop the magazine, turn this little lever here, and then basically the com gun comes apart in two pieces for field stripping, yeah. cleaning, oiling, and then getting back to shooting. And I think for today's shooters, maybe people that didn't come up on the high powers of the 1911s, this is gonna be a much more familiar assembly, if you will. I mean, the components that you expect to see on your other, maybe even polymer frame guns, like the 509, you're gonna get the same thing here. You take the slide all the way off, yep. and you get the barrel and the recoil spring with it. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. Wow. I mean, it is really a nice, looking gun, a lot of options right out of the gate, and it's great to see kind of that legendary high power come back in a very modern form. If people want to find out more about the high power, where do they need to go? So you can find out more about the FN high power and all of our great products at FNAmerica.com. Thank you so much, Chris. Appreciate right, it. I'm Scott Rupp with Handguns Magazine, and today I'm with Michael Bain, and we're talking about a new version of Streamlight's TLR6 light laser. Scott, this is a GX4 from Taurus, and this has been one of the newer entries in the mini 9mm market, which is essentially, at this point, would it be fair to say driving handguns? I would say sales? it is definitely driving the market, yes. Like crazy. Yeah. But the GX4, excellent little gun, but what Streamlight has done with the TLR6, and you can see it really clearly here, is they made a small light laser combination for a small gun. Because when you're carrying a small gun, the reason you're carrying it is because it's small. And adding a, some big honking light laser is not doing you any favor. It favors. doesn't seem to work at all. No. But with the Streamlight TLR6, you've got essentially a gun, a light system, laser system, that is designed for the gun. If you look at this package, it works really well. Now this is a light and a laser and it's programmable. So you can have a light and a laser, you can have just the laser or you can have just, just the light. light. It's a 100 lumen light and first now because we're in a lumen race, yeah. People go like, oh, come on, 100, 100 lumen. 100 lumens is plenty, man. It's more that's, than you need on yeah, a carry gun. Absolutely. Because you want to just be able to have that extra light. It doesn't replace the light in your hand. Right. Because I know that that's, that's a big issue, as people say, if I have a light on the gun, do I need another light in my pocket? The answer is actually yes. Because you don't want to search with a light on your gun. No, it's that's the last your, thing in the world you, you want to do. For. But this gives you options, especially the laser. I think a laser is really important as we have so many new people coming in. Yeah. And those people are coming in concealed carry. They need to be brought up quickly and a laser also is a learning tool over and above a pointing tool. And what I like about this one too is it's got, it's got the ambi controls so you can do trigger finger, you can do support hand thumb, and it's just a really convenient, easy to use, easy to program package. For more information, go to streamlight.com. I'm Joe Kurtenbach with Guns and Ammo, and I'm joined by Sarah from Taser Self Defense. And Sarah, we are looking at some pretty exciting products coming from Taser that are really designed for the commercial, the armed citizen. Uh, the market uh, may be less familiar to people when it comes to that Taser brand because you guys do have a great pedigree with like law enforcement, for example. Exactly, yeah, I think a lot of people are familiar with our company Axon, our overall umbrella company. We do a lot with law enforcement. Uh, so we're really trying to make civilians aware that we have products designed especially for them. Yeah. We've been a civilian uh, company since 93. So uh, I think that's just been, we've been so popular in law enforcement space, people don't realize that they can purchase it as well. Right, but yeah. since you guys were founded, you really were founded to address that yes. civilian, I mean, You've talked yes. to me about the, the, the founder, you know, really thought mm -hmm. personal protection for, for regular citizens was important. Right, yeah, he lost two friends in a road rage gun violence accident. And uh, his whole thing was, how can we do it better? There's gotta yeah. be a better option. Yeah. How can we give some people something to defend themselves with that yeah. isn't lethal force? Right, because there's a lot of distance between harsh words and going to guns and having an option in between is 
you know, really probably the best solution. Yeah. So we've got three products on the table here. Let's just start at one end. And yeah. why don't you tell me about them? So this guy is our latest and greatest, the new Taser Bolt 2. So this is our newest civilian device, uses CR123 batteries, has a built-in safety cap, safety distance of 15 feet. Mm -hmm. We also incorporated some technology into this guy. So we built some Bluetooth in, so it'll connect to an app called Axon Protect on your smartphone. So when you deploy this device, it'll tell the app it's been deployed. They'll reach out and say, hey, are you okay? Do you need help? Yeah. And if you don't respond or if you say need help, they're sending law enforcement out to the GPS location of your smartphone. So very similar to like a home security system. Yes, and how exactly. does that one work? We've got a couple controls on there. Yes, so we have a safety switch on top here. So if you slide that safety switch forward, that'll arm the device, that'll take the safety cap off. You'll have light and laser. And then when you're ready, you'd hit that trigger button there and that would initiate that 30 second cycle. Yeah, and then the great thing about products like this is you do have that standoff distance, but sometimes yes. things might get closer. You might want some other deterrent tools. So let's look at the second product here. Yeah, so our Taser Strike Light 2, this guy here is a pain compliance or a stun gun type device, yep. so, uh, or you know a deterrent, de-escalation tool. So this is a flashlight. We've got a couple of options here. So we've got a red light, low light, and then a high light, mm -hmm. 800 lumens on that guy. And then we also have the ability, if you slide this safety switch forward, you'll see that little laser lightning bolt there hit this trigger, trigger button underneath, and then you get that nice de-escalation tool. So pair that with a couple commands, yep. hey, back off, I'm that, gonna defend myself, don't make me taste That you. might change the course of a conversation. That might do the trick. Yeah, yeah and the nice so. thing about that too is we have seen that even bright lights can be deterrent devices in themselves. Exactly. So having, again, more options is, is just better. And it's better. these look very innocuous. You wouldn't right. necessarily know what they are. Yeah, Um But when absolutely. we come over to our third product, we have a more familiar uh, product, why don't you tell me about this? Yeah, so this is our Taser Pulse device. This is kind of our flagship device on the civilian side. It uh, acts very much, the people who are familiar with the firearm will be familiar with this, has a safety switch. Once you arm that, you have a light and laser, 15 distance of, of space where those probes are gonna travel. Yep. Um, you have the battery status indicator on the back, and then it can cause that neuromuscular incapacitation or that really nice full body, you yeah, know, lock the, the lock up on the yep. device. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and again, we've got the we've got the safety, we've got the sights, we've got mm -hmm. the trigger. So anyone kind of familiar with firearms, exactly, uh, this is going to be kind of a natural tool to go to. But it, right. again, it's going to give you something between those harsh words and an actual gun. Yeah. So we have options for people that are familiar with the firearm want to go with this, people that don't want anything that has that firearm, you know, gun form factor, yep. we've got the bolt too. And then somebody who doesn't want anything that kind of will shoot anything downrange, we've got an option for them as well. And Sarah, you were telling me that Taser also has a safe escape. Uh, what is that all about? Yeah, so we have a safe escape guarantee. So if you have to use your device in self-defense, you use it, you lay it down, you get to safety, come back with law enforcement, the device is lost, stolen, or taken as evidence. Send that police report, we'll replace it for free. So we really care about you as the user. Yeah. Don't worry about the device, we'll handle that. Just get yourself to safety. Just another degree of peace of mind. Exactly. And the great thing about these is you can take them where you can't take guns and you can buy them without the regulations around guns. Exactly, yes. If people yeah. want to know more, where should they go? So our website, taser.com, is a great option. And then if they have any questions, they can always reach out, team at taser.com. We're always happy to help. Thanks so much, Sarah. Yeah, thank you. Hey, I'm John Toronto with Game and Fish Magazine, and I'm joined by Dusty Gibson with Winchester Ammunition. Uh, Dusty has here uh, Winchester's latest and greatest personal defense round. It's called USA Ready Defense. Dusty, tell us, what makes USA Ready Defense so special? Well, Winchester continues to be the leader in personal defense technology, and we have always been a pioneer, especially in the pistol realm of personal defense. Yeah. Especially now with USA Ready Defense, the hex bent hollow point really sets this apart and helps that bullet to expand upon impact. Okay, so hex vent hollow point. Explain to us a little bit about kind of how it works. So that hex vent, if you look at it closely, it actually has some channels in it. Okay. And what that does is upon impact, fluid and material flows in through those vents and pops that hollow point open. Gotcha. So it forces very consistent expansion every time. Fantastic, and so obviously this is uh, not true to size here. This is a display model. Uh, obviously this is nine millimeter on it, but you got a new offering this year, is that right? Yes, sir. So okay. in 21, our offerings were nines, 40s, and 45s. Here in 2022, we're here with 10 millimeter, gotcha. and that's loaded hot at 1250 feet per second with a 170 grain bullet. So I, I assume you've seen a lot of people gravitating towards the 10 millimeter for defense, is that right? It continues to be very popular. You see a lot of the major handgun manufacturers are making a gun for, for 10 millimeter. 
All right, good deal. So when will these be available? March of this year. March of this year, fantastic. So if you're in the market for a new personal defense round, maybe you're looking to move up to a 10 millimeter, be sure to give USA Ready Defense a hard look. I'm Joe Kurtenbach with Guns and Ammo, and I'm joined by Brett Voorhees, CEO of Taurus. And Brett, you guys have once again just launched a slew of new products this year. A, a lot of things on the table. I think we need to just jump right in. Yeah, let's dive in. Like you said, we've been very busy uh, launching some new products. We've got some great ones here. We'll start off with the GX4, yeah. uh, which we launched last year. It's uh, one of our more popular models, micro compact, um, 11 round capacity. This is our Toro model. So this is an optic ready right. option for that. Um, very robust mounting platform for the optic, but it comes with 11 round magazine, also comes with a 13 round extended mag. So great package for a concealed carry. Of course, right. micro compacts are, are the thing that, that everyone wants right now, uh, as well as optic ready. So we, we're crossing, you know, two things off the list there. No, absolutely. I mean, that's exactly the kind of product that the market is looking for right now. Uh, micro compact size, a good high capacity, optics ready, very concealable. And this is a gun that I think the first time I picked it up really surprised me mm -hmm. with just how good it felt in the hand and for being such a small gun, how well it shot. I mean, the recoil, very minor. And uh, when it comes to the optics mounting platform that you guys use, is it a plate system or is this one cut for this kind of a, that most popular micro size This optic? is a direct mount for most of the micro compact optics. Uh, the Trijicon RMRCC has an adapter plate, right. but everything else mounts directly to the slide. So yeah. you have a very robust solution. Yeah, we've seen a good bit of kind of universal mounting in that size platform. Yeah. Well, let's move on, I think. Okay. What product do you want to look at next? Uh, let's do the 605 Defender. Okay, so perfect. This is uh, this is one of our small frame revolvers in 357 Magnum. Um, the 605 was an existing model. It's very mm -hmm. popular. But the Defender series is is what our uh, hardcore revolver enthusiasts are, are really wanting. So it's a three-inch barrel. Uh, it has a tritium night sight on it. Yeah. Um, this one is in a, a gray Cerakote with wood, but we also do G10 grips. We do all sorts of different options. More options on yes. those. I think you guys are really hitting the nail on the head with that one because we have seen kind of a revival of that revolver market. Not that it ever went away, but there is certainly a, a peak in interest right now because of the utility, because of the simplicity, because of the reliability of those kinds of platforms. And in that three inch barrel, what I like that you guys have done is you gave it really good sights. I mean, and that makes it even more shootable. You have the extended sight radius compared to a snubby. Sure. And it's now you a, have- It's a, not a pocket gun. Exactly. Gun. But now you've got a really bright front sight to focus in on too. Yeah, it makes it great to shoot. Um, and it, it's just a really nice wheel gun to be carrying around. Yep, 357 mag? Yes, sir. Absolutely, that's the one you would want, I yep, think. Absolutely. So besides revolvers, what else are we getting into? Uh, we have a new G3X, which is a, a Evolution of one of our most popular platforms, the G3. You're right. Uh, we came out the G3C last year. Uh, this is kind of a hybrid between those two. Yeah. So you have a shorter slide, longer grip, 15 round capacity in the magazine, and you're going to have a full grip on the pistol. Right. Uh, but you're going to have a little bit shorter slide and barrel. So if you're carrying an appendix, IWB, and you're sitting down in a car or something, you don't have that extra inch of, of barrel length that's going to be uh, poking into your body or. You yeah, know, absolutely. Kind of. I mean, I think that's a really interesting platform and one that you guys are gonna get a lot of great feedback on because for one, it enjoys the heritage of the Millennium Series, the G2s, offering real utility and performance, a gun that's just gonna run, but at a very accessible price point. But of course, that platform has been evolved and pretty seriously evolved in the last few years. I mean, the G3s are just great guns. The other thing I like about this model is we've kind of seen hybrids where we've seen a longer grip frame for more capacity. We've seen longer and shorter barrel length and slide lengths. But this one really goes kind of towards that compact to subcompact. It's, it's a nice, right. it's kind of another nice category. And I think what we're learning is people just like options. Right, it, it, feels a, it fits in a sweet spot. And like you said, it's another option. Yeah, yeah, and that's what you guys are really growing that line out to do is just meet, meet the people where they are. Yeah, it keeps evolving to, to improve every every new product that we come out with in the G-Series. Well, I think the next one may be the, uh, the firearm I'm most excited about, uh, and that is 
a, a TX-22 model, but it's one that I haven't seen before. Right, so this is the TX-22 competition SCR, which is Steel Challenge Ready. Um, we came out with the TX-22 competition last year, which was a, a five inch threaded barrel with the optic mounted directly on the barrel hood. So what that means is when the slide reciprocates, the, the optic is gonna stay put. Yeah. Um, we're pushing the performance a little bit further with this model, adding a compensator onto it. Uh, this is also going to be available in, in previously restricted states because it's more of a target gun and it's allowed in right. such as like Massachusetts and some people that have never had options of a TX-22. Yeah, and now you've already taken a very fast flat shooting gun and you put a comp on it. I'm yep. really excited to get this one on the range. It's a blast to shoot. It really is. Well, if people want to find out more about these guns, where do they need to go? TaurusUSA.com. It really couldn't be any easier than that and a lot of exciting stuff from Taurus, so go check them out. Thank you, Brett. Thank you. Hi there, David Fabian, Guns and Ammo Special Interest Publications. I'm here with Charlie Brown, president of MKS Supply, the exclusive importer of Russian Barnall Ammo. Charlie, what can you tell us about Barnall Ammo? Well, it's been a great line for us. We've been uh, the exclusive importer for about six years. Okay. We were getting multiple containers a month in. Okay. And uh, still selling very well. Very good here. Now, this steel cased ammo, obviously, you have it in 223, 762 by 39. What right. other cartridges are available? Well, the, the other popular com block cartridges like the 762 by 54R. Sure. We do a 308, okay. um, a 300 blackout. Okay. And, and last year, we just introduced a 9 millimeter subsonic in 151 grain, which is a really fun little cartridge to shoot. I bet. Yeah. Suppressed shooting is only growing in popularity. That's right. Okay. okay. Now, the packaging, like, what do you what do you sell them in? How, how big of offerings are there? Well, typically, uh, they come in 500 round cases. Okay. And uh, the pistol calibers come in 50 round boxes, and the rifle calibers come in 20 round boxes, very similar to our US packaging. Okay, well, I've shot a bunch of it myself, and I'm gonna stock up on even more because That'd I be know. A good idea. <laughs> sanctions and everything, scary. Yep. Yep. You, guys should, you guys should load up too, it's good stuff. I'm Joe Kurtenbach with Guns and Ammo, and I'm joined by Ethan, one of the engineers at Live Free Armory. And don't feel bad if that's not a name that's familiar to you, it's a company that Honestly, you've probably interacted with their products before, but you just may not have known it. They are a company that's been in this industry, working with some of the big dogs for a long time, and now they're stepping out on their own. Ethan, you guys have a lot of experience doing the engineering, the manufacturing for guns that we have been familiar with for years from the big manufacturers, but you guys are taking all that expertise and putting it into your own product now. Yes, this is the AMP pistol. That's aluminum match grade pistol. Um, the heart of the AMP is the fire control unit. That allows us to have one serialized part. You can switch out your frames, customize to your liking. Yeah. It also allows us to hold tighter tolerances with a slide frame meetup. Yeah. That, I mean, it's a popular configuration that we're seeing become um, more robust out in this industry because you can really take that one serialized component and eventually, in the long run, build a gun around it. So we could expect from Live Free Armory, you design the right chassis and you've got you can build a whole catalog around it. That's exactly the intent. Yeah, I mean, you guys have the expertise to do it, so why don't you tell me about some of the features specific to the amp? So starting with the frame, it's made out of 6061 T6 aluminum billet. Uh, it features a 1911 grip angle, a high pronounced beaver tail, double undercut, uh, 1913 Picatinny rail up front, and an ambidextrous thumb shelf on both sides. I think what I like about this gun most is that we see a lot of those components that you would expect in a custom or aftermarket upgraded uh, Glock style pistol, um, but they're very functional as well. Like you look at the, the porting, the cuts in the front of the slide, that's not just for looks. It does look good, but man, it also helps that slide run better. And of, of course it gives you a place to put your hand, control the gun during manipulations, whether it's a press check or otherwise. And I, I want to make it clear for our audience, this is a Glock 19 size pistol. Yes. Is, what is the compatibility in terms of components? Does it take Glock mags? Will it fit in Glock holsters? Yeah, so it will take Glock mags. It fits in Glock 19 holsters. Uh, it also has parts compatibility with all Gen 3 parts. If it fits on a Glock, it'll fit in this pistol. I would notice also that it is optics ready. So what is the cut underneath that plate? That is an RMR cut. It gives You're us the widest range. somewhere. Absolutely, that's the most popular for sure. Uh, I mean, a lot of great components here. You can tell that that feel is just different from a typical Glock. But would you mind opening up that pistol oh, yeah. and show us that FCU? So 
there's the FCU. I mean, that's where the pressures are going to go. That's that's mm -hmm. what needs to stand up. So you get the engineering right on that, and then whether it's larger frames, larger slides, uh, any of those components, you can really design the gun around it. And I expect that with your guys' expertise, that's exactly what we're going to see. Yes, that's our anticipated launch cycle is going to be starting with the base pistol, and then adding components to allow the end user to customize as they see fit. Well, I'm very excited to see just another one of those companies really stepping out that has that authentic expertise in manufacturing and design. So if people want to find out more about the AMP, more about Live Free Armory, where do they need to go? LiveFreeArmory.com. It's that easy, folks. Check them out. And Ethan, thank you so much for being here. We hope you enjoyed this episode's highlights of some of the year's hottest equipment. To see more of the freshest state-of-the-art outdoor gear from SHOT Show 2022, be sure to catch the next SHOT Show new product premiere. So being able to fly better, it's going to retain more energy. Just like, <laughs> honestly, just like what goes in your safe. You yes. might start with one size vault, you know, but you're always going to fill that up. It's really built for true, serious, Waterfowl hunters that want to use their 16 gauge. Well, hey, this isn't the only exciting news uh, you guys have yeah, coming we have out here. Else to talk I'm about. sure I'm not yeah. sure that we've done one of these at a show before. 